Hi Year 9. Um, the purpose of this video is to introduce the health and social care course to you. For all of you, this is a brand new subject, so hopefully this video will give you a better idea of what the subject's about, what you will learn from it, what you can get out of it, and where it can lead you career-wise in the future. So health and social care, you may have heard that phrase a lot during the pandemic. It is a service that helps to look after people and it also is good in that it helps you to understand the way in which people develop. During and through the BTEC that we do at our academy, you will experience how to care for people, find out how people develop and adapt, discover how people cope and adapt to life events and understand how the care services work and what they will do to help people to get better. So part of the course is we look at how humans develop. So you'll learn how um, people develop physically, so how we actually physically grow from being a baby, from being born, to being elderly people. Um, you'll learn about how we develop intellectually, so the different things that we learn as we grow up. Um, you will look at how people develop emotions and how we deal with our emotions slightly better as we grow up. And we'll also look at how people develop socially, so how we actually communicate with people. So not just being on your phone, looking at a screen all the time, but how, how we actually learn to communicate with people, to talk to people and actually be in groups with other people. We also go on to look at different life events, so things that happen to us throughout our life. Um, these things can be expected, so starting school, making friends, possibly getting married, um, two things that could be unexpected like death, um, illnesses and disease, accidents and injuries, and how those things actually affect a person's development. We'll also look at what support through the health and social care services is available and how those um, areas of support help people to cope and adapt with these different life events. We then go on to in our second unit where we look at what um, is on offer in the health care services and social care services. So things like doctors, dentists, possibly hospital, we've all used them in the past, whether it was we've only been there when we've been born or whether it's you've been to the doctors because you've got um, an illness or whether you've been to the dentist for a checkup. You've all used a healthcare service at some point in our life. So what we look at is what their roles are and how we as the public access those services, because some are not as generic as the doctors and the dentists some are more specific so we need to know as um, human beings how we would actually access those services there's also the social care services and again we look at what their roles are how they help people and again how they might be accessed by us as the public um, some people not all have certain barriers which could arise for them being able to actually access those services and that might be things like where they live and it being too far away for them to get to those services it might be a financial issue they might not be able to afford to use those services because they may not all be free from the nhs and you may have to pay for certain services um so we look at all those things and we look at how we can as a, a public try and overcome these barriers and make them as small as we possibly can we then move on and look at care values. Now, these are basically like the rules that people who work in the care services, what they live by when they're at work, um, what they use to try and help their patients, their clients to feel as comfortable as possible in what they actually do. You will have a go throughout this course as to demonstrate them yourselves um, and that becomes part of the coursework that you do um, actually doing it through your own performance role play type of thing to look at how 
you would actually try and portray those care values. And these are things like preserving someone's dignity, making sure that they feel comfortable and safe, and also making sure that they, you're allowing them to have their own independence and not necessarily just doing everything for them. Um, you will then look back at that uh, role play and reflect on how you might overcome uh, and improve your own performance of those care values. The final unit that we look at is the one where you will actually sit an exam in and we look at people's health and well-being. So for some of us, we do sometimes take health for granted. We think that oh, we're healthy, we're going to be around forever and unfortunately we're not we're not always around forever. And what we need to do as human beings is understand how specific things can be beneficial for us and how things could be detrimental for our health and well-being. So we'll, you will learn throughout this unit how, as human beings, we need to remain healthy, how certain things will affect our body and how we can improve these things. What services that are out there that can help us? So again, that's drawing on things that we've done um, in previous units on the services that we've got in the health and social care uh, industry and how we would put a plan in place to help someone to improve their own lifestyle and their health and well-being. We've got a few comments here from some of our students in the past. You do need to be organised. It is hard work, but it is worth it. There is far lots of coursework um, and you need to make sure you keep into deadlines. Um, We've got some people say that they love it and bought. some people have said that it's boring if you're not interested in it. So only pick this if it is of interest to your future career choice. So again, whilst we want a lot of people to pick this course, if you're not interested in it and you're not interested in being within this industry, then it is not the course for you. We, it's not an easy option, as someone said there. It might sound easy, but it's not but it is a great career, great choice to pick if it is linked to what you want to do in your future career. Talking of careers, um, it's designed to give you a flavour of the world of work suited to anybody that's interested in a career related to health and social care. And it is a vocational course, so it is a BTEC course. And we do want, to, want you to look more at how the things you learn throughout the course will then link for you being able to use that information in a working environment. Down the side, there is a list of different jobs that you could use in social care. And obviously the healthcare, we're looking at things like doctors, nurses, um, consultants within hospitals um, or within doctor's surgeries. Um, you can develop a knowledge and understanding of pra and practical and social skills to help prepare you for working in a health and social care career. A few numbers for you there. So there is 1.58 million adult social care jobs available in the UK. Um, there is an average salary of 20,536 and that is across the whole health and social care range. That is including of doctors, nurses. So there is a quite a wide variety of salaries which make up that average there. Okay. So health and social care is for you if you are interested in caring for people in the future. If you have an interest in health and social care professions and health and well-being. And if you are curious or have an opinion about the ways in which our lives are shaped by the choices that we make and how our health and life events affect our development. Thank you, Year 9. And if any further questions, don't hesitate to come and ask either myself, Mrs Walsh or Miss Greenwood. OK, thank you. Bye.